What's up YouTube? This is part 26 of my Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. Alright, so I just uploaded a part about in about an hour and a bit ago, so I thought I'd put another up because I really do want to get uh, through this walkthrough. Okay, so if you weren't tuning in last time, I just defeated Team Aqua at Mount Pyre and we need to go to Slateport City to sort some shit out. Okay, so I'm going to fly there now because I've got the Fly TM, so head over to like the little docking uh, place and Captain Stern will be there, he'll be like, out, in f out in front with all these other people like a camera crew and stuff. So basically they, they're heading off uh, while Team Mac are actually sneaking in to get the submarine. As you will find out in a sec, I'm just talking to him. Yeah, apparently they're using it for an exploration on Route 128. And now Team Aqua are on like the megaphone and they're talking to everyone about what their plans are for the submarine and all that kind of stuff. So basically now we have to go inside and confront them, but before we can actually catch them, they actually will take off in this submarine. It's, it's actually pretty funny how they do it. They basically just jump in the water. See? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But anyway, they jumped in the water and took off in the, with the submarine. So now we have to follow them back to the base near Lily Cove City. Uh, so go on your flying Pokemon and fly all the way back to Lily Cove City. It's right on the map here. Yep. Alright. So you'll need, basically all you need is a Surf THM to get there. It's not very hard to find. I'm thinking where I should uh, heal my Pokemon. Up. Oh, I think they're all, yeah, already healed actually. So on my team at the moment, I do have Blaziken, Swellow, Vibrava, and Tropius. And in this area, I have in you can in this area, sorry, you can catch Magikarp, Pelipper, Staryu, Tentacle, Wilma, and Wingull. Sorry, there I was, I was probably having a little lapse while I was recording, and I think I was I was eating or something. Anyway, so I head down this way. It'll be like all these like a little beachy bit, um, lots of puddles and stuff. So just surf off there. I'm just using my HM slave at the moment because. Oh, battle. I thought I bottled them all out. Oh, it's just a wing girl. No problem. So, <laughs> I'm just going to run away from this. Oh, I'm nearly level 36 with my, my brother. So, head into this cave here, and this is the Team Aqua Hideout. So, you can get Electrode in here, and I did actually was planning on catching an Electrode, but of course, uh, shit hit the fan and stuff happened, but we will see when we get to that part. So, there's this first guy here. He's pretty easy. Uh, basically, all they're going to basically all these uh, Team Aqua people are just trying to stall you to get, till you get to the actual uh, proper thing. So I get a Parahex there with Dragon Breath, which is awesome. Oh, this pissed me off a lot. Swagger really annoyed the crap out of me um, because I get confused and it does a lot, a lot of damage. I was just thinking, uh, should I heal it or just let me see what I got? Yeah, I had a Parison Berry here and I healed it right. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yep, that's cool. And then it goes for the scary face. I'm like, oh, what? It might go for another. Um, the next one might go for a swagger as well. It better not. So I'm just going to finish this off here with a dragon breath. That's cool. Also, yep. As I was saying, Electrode was going to be my is going to be my electric Pokemon at this stage. I was thinking that. Yep. But um, <laughs> you shall see what happens. So out comes the second Poochina. Um, dragon breath again. Nearly taking it out. Swagger again, I'm like, oh my god, please don't die. So, <laughs> so, I really did at this point in the game need to train up my Vibe Brother, so I didn't want him dying at the start. So, I think I got a fairly, I got fairly unlucky here, I got confused hacks there. And look how much it does, like, it does, Swagger does so much damage. Okay, so I was risk, I didn't want to actually risk it, so I just switched out into my Swallow here, because, yeah, I need to save Vibe Brother for later. So, into my Arb. Uh, into my pit bird. Uh, so he basically is just spamming scary face, so which lowers your speed a little bit, but I'm incredibly fast anyway, so I'm pretty sure I'll outspeed it regardless. So yep, steel wing of course. Also in this part you can this is where you actually get the master ball, so make sure you don't miss that. It can be missed easily if you just try and rush through this part. There's a little uh, little trick to getting it. You have to go on the warp tiles. Anyway. Uh, okay, so we'll head out. He's the only train on this floor. Let me just see if I got anything. Actually, I did pick up. Uh, I did pick up a max potion. So I'm just going to use that on. Oh, whoops. I'm just going to use that on my Vibrava because he's a little bit uh, worse for wear there, and it's only the first battle. 
Okay, so out of it and up to the next, it'll be like a little, I guess it's kind of like a step. So you'll get a, you get a few warp pads there. I'm actually going to go back and just show you what the other one was. You can go on this one and you can grab, it's a max elixir. I mean, they're very good to save them up for the Elite Four. I like saving them. Anyway, so make sure you go on all the warp pads so you actually get a chance of seeing everything. Because as you can see, there's a room there with those balls in it. And there's like a master ball and it's surrounded by like electrodes and stuff. Anyway, so there's, there's a few rockets that are bored from their work and they want to battle, so we will battle them. So this is a Team Aqua Grunt, uh, some chicks, she's got Puccina. Hopefully I can kill these in one move and they're not using Swagger because that would be really annoying. Come on, Dragon Breath, kill. <sighs> Nearly kills. So basically it's gonna, st nah, they're just gonna spam Scary Face for a while. And while I'm just gonna, I should be able to carry them soon with uh, Dragon Breath. I'm a little bit, I need a few more levels. Okay, I'm really looking forward to you know, evolving into a Flygon too much better. Anyway, so in comes Kavana. This should be a nearly kill. Or it should be a kill, actually. Kavana's pretty hor horrible in its defenses. Okay. Yup, so basically I, I've actually, I've actually, if you want to know, I've actually recorded this entire game already. I've actually done the game. Well, up to the Elite Four, so basically I just need to upload the episodes now. I've actually done the game, so if you are wondering, I'm just getting all the episodes up now and doing a few minor editing things and such, so it is done up to the Elite Four. So I've actually, the last few days I've put like tons and tons of work in to get it done, basically. Anyway, so Dragon Breath takes cover, oh my god, it doesn't, it lives with like one HP and gets power hack, so that's all cool. Uh, whatever, just finished off with the Dragon Breath, that's cool. Okay, so down he goes. In this, also in the, um, in this base you get, there's two electrodes in there, so. Okay, so this other guy we're going to battle as well, may as well. Uh, it's just some more free experience. So there's another uh, two tiles in this room you can go on. One to obviously to proceed to the next area. One you can actually go back and get the Master Ball, which we will do very, very soon. I'm going to go for a Rock Tomb on this because that's super effective, of course. Do -do -do -do. Zubat's going to go down. I went through this game once with a Crobat. The Crobat's really, really awesome in this game. He's very, very good. Also, he's very, very handy, at, uh, especially with Latios and Latios. You can actually, you can lock them in with the main look, and it's got very, very handy moves you can use against it, like Confuse Ray, a whole lot of stuff. It's actually not too bad against the legendaries as well. You can, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, well, Pidgeon is raw. That's cool. I'm uh, just going to go for a Magical Leaf here. That should do the damage that I need. Um, yep, so I get a crit there, but unnecessary. <clears throat> Excuse me, of course. So 262 points there, not very many um, for Trap Inch. Uh, sorry, Trap Inch by Brava. Uh, okay, so I'm going to switch Tropius back out because I want I want him to get level 37. So two more to go. Kavana again. Dragon Breath or Rock Tomb. I'll just go for a Rock Tomb, whatever. Should be able to take him out, I'm guessing. Yep, that takes him out. Cool. Crit, awesome. <laughs> so one more to go. Uh, it's important to verse all the, uh, in my opinion, it's important to verse all the trainers in here because you can, in this game, you can get, in a lot of games, if you don't verse the trainers, you can get easily underleveled and especially against the gyms and some certain parts in the game, you can get really underleveled and it can get uh, really hard if you don't, or if you don't do a lot of outside grinding in the game. Okay, so that second Dragon Breath is going to take Puccina out easily. Also, it's a very good way to get your lower Pokemon up because these Pokemon aren't that strong. Anyway, so the second guy is beaten. Okay, obviously there's a sar submarine at the far end. So before I actually, actually, you jump on this tile, which will bring you to the next area. Let me see. Yeah, this is the next area. I'm just going to quickly go back and show you how to get the Master Ball. All right, so if you didn't notice when I walked into this room, there was actually another tile back here. It's kind of, I guess if you don't, I'm not actually looking for it, it's kind of hidden away. So you get a three option of the three tiles. So obviously it's not the middle one. All right, so go to the right one and you get transported. Then go to the middle one. Then go to the one across that. And then you'll be taken to this room and then jump on the one on the far end and you'll go to a room with two electrodes, a master ball and another item, which should be there. Anyway, so you click on the um, electrode and go bzzz, and you can try and capture it. Okay, I was like, yes. I want to get this because I got Thunder for Electrode. 
this would be cool. Alright, so he goes for the Sonic Boom, outspeeds me of course. I just go for the Dragon Breath to get maybe a Power Hacks or something like that, but it doesn't do too much, and he goes, do do do, what the fuck, boom. So that's one Electro down, and that's my Vibrava down, so that goes my first chance of capturing Electro. I know you can catch Electro in another place, but I wanted to get it here because it's a high level. But anyway, it's kind of a spare in the moment thing. Okay, so this was the second Electrode. So I was thinking, well, I'm gonna have a go good crack at this before it tries to go boom on me. Okay, so I just go for the Blaze Kick because I knew it would get it very close. I'm 10 levels higher, but I knew it would get it very, very close to the red. Just not quite killing it. And I was quite right there. So I go for the, um, I go straight for here for the Ultra Ball. Because I'm like, this should definitely catch. I'm sure it will catch. Because I know the next turn it's going to go for um, self-destruct, of course. So I'm like, yes, I got this. Then he broke out straight away. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, no, no, don't blow up. So two, um, two electrodes both blow up, so my balls blow up. <laughs> so after this point, I was like, meh, I don't want to catch electrode anymore. And yeah, of course, there's your master ball there, so do not actually go past that bit because you'll be raging and have to come back and get it. Okay, so then just hop on the the middle tile here, and that one there, yep, and back at the start, and you'll be back to where you were before. That's all cool. Okay, so I'm going to switch up Tropius to the lead now because he needs a little bit of more experience, and let's uh, go forth onto the next room. I think there's another two rooms, and then you can actually go to the main bit. Okay, so jump on this tile and out this little door bit. So there'll be a guy running around here. You can probably jump in and battle him as well. He looks like he's waiting around, so we will uh, battle him for some experience, of course. Okay, so he's only got one Pokemon, so he's only got the Kavana. It's a little bit higher level though, but you should be able to handle it with ease, basically. Uh, Magical Leaf should kill this in one shot. It's pretty damn easy. Okay, so down goes Kavana. Uh, super effective damage there, awesome. So he was pretty easy. 660 Poke Dollars for winning, and let's proceed. Okay, so he's obviously trying to store. I think there's another lady here. There's a two warp pads in this room as well. Okay, if you jump off this one, this will actually take you to the next area. So I'm going to quickly go back there. I'm just, I just want to show you what all the, where all the warp pads go to actually. Okay, so it's annoying you can't actually jog in here with your running shoes. Okay, so if you go to this bit, there'll be a ball here, and that'll be um, your nest ball. I mean, it's just another ball you can pick up, and it's a free arm, so you might as well grab it. Anyway, so head back to this way and to the next warp pad we're just on before. Okay, right, so just in a small little room again, just head up those stairs and out, and there'll be another guy just waiting there at the door. Okay, so there'll be this guy, I think there's another guy, there's a, f a few more people on that, that'd, that's about you, you nearly there. Okay, so he's got two Pokemon, the Kavana again, it's quite a, it's quite a decent level again, but I've got Tropius, so he should handle this, no, no worries at all. Super effective magical leaf to the face, Pachow. So that's down for super effective damage. I definitely plan on getting, giving my Tropius Solar Beam later on in the game, so yup, he's going to be an absolute beast. And he's probably going to be, probably going to be like a sunny day uh, user, so I can like just basically spam Solar Beam um, endlessly till the sun runs out, of course. So I'm just going to go for a stomp here because that's they're my best moves against Zubat because it, um, Zubat resists grass uh, a lot. Okay, so did he just say something about licking then? Anyway, <laughs> so. Basically, yeah, these guys' mission is to hold drop. So keep running, or walking, that is, to the next room. Go out this little doorway thing. And head into here, and there's this lady waiting. i oh, battle her, she's pretty good. Okay, so they're all warp pads, and we're very, very close to getting to the end now of, the, of this uh, place. Okay, so she's got one Pokemon. It's a Zubat. It's quite high level, but it's pretty easily dealt with. Like A few stomps on this thing will be down in the ground. I just well, I actually misclicked there and went for the grow for like, oh, whatever, that's okay. Okay, so it's got bite, it's not gonna really do much to me at all. Oh my god, that was a crit, it did like, <laughs> it did like nothing. I'm just gonna actually switch out here because I don't wanna mess around doing stomp a million times. I'm just gonna go straight for a blaze kick, basically. Okay, so Confuse Ray, oh fuck, this is annoying. So, <laughs> Confuse Ray is gonna, I probably should switch out here, but I probably got a little bit impatient and just went for the blaze kick knowing what I did. Okay, yep, blaze kick. Die. Come on. No hacks, no hacks, no hacks. 
so I get hit by the Confuse Ray, he goes to the Bite, it does, it does 3 damage, ouch. It's not very effective as well. Come on, Blaze Kick, come on, Blaze Kick. Yup, Blaze Kick kills Zubat. Okay, so he's down, that's definitely going to kill him. Alright, so she was fairly easy, 190 a piece for both of my Pokemon there. Uh, yes, I'm not tired at all, I've already beaten a million of your friends. So hop on this warp pad again, you'll get another choice. So this guy will be like a little exclamation mark. You can jump on this panel here and actually, I'm going to go back, sorry. Um, nothing much in this here, so go back, 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 back. Yep. Right, so back on this warp pad as well, and I accidentally screwed that up big time. Dumb. <laughs> God, I'm a dumbass. Anyway, so don't worry what I just did then, I just screwed it up completely. I think I was recording this pretty late too, so I'm going to quickly go back, cover up my epic fail. Do -do -do -do. Strolling. Back on this one. Come on. I just I don't like the fact how you you can't have running shoes in this either. It makes it very very slow. At least it, at least there's no wild Pokemon encounters in that as well. Like there isn't like Pokemon Silver. That's really annoying. Anyway, so finally, um, there's a little exclamation mark, and you go talk to this guy. Okay, apparently this guy's really good, and he's not going to be stalling for time. He's going to pulverize me. Well, damn, bring it on. So he's kind of like a tank dude. He's got the Kavana level 32. That should be easy, easy for my Tropius uh, Magical Leaf. His uh, fish ass back to the water. Okay, so he goes down there. Super effective damage there. Goodbye, Kavana. 603 experience points, and in comes the Sharpedo. I reckon I should be able to one-hit this anyway, because even though it's an evolved form, it has got very crappy defenses as well. Uh, he goes for the focus energy, trying to get a critical hit the next turn. That is not going to happen. I'm going to kill him this turn with my magical leaf. Bye-bye, Sharpedo. He goes down. I'm pretty sure his last Pokemon is Mighty Ina, because I always remember that. This should be my very... Uh, this should be my last Pokemon I can kill before I can get level 35. Okay, so Mighty Ina um, has the Intimidate ability, lowering my attack one stage. That doesn't mean shit, because I am a special attacker, and this should hit nicely. I've Probably won't kill it, but yep. So, oh my god, not swagger again. So, uh, Mighty Annie goes for the swagger. I'm probably going to switch out here because, yep, I learned my lesson good last time. I'm not doing that again. Or, whatever, actually, bugger it. I'm just going to stay in and go for a stomp. Yay, stomp hits. And nearly one more, one more. So, Mighty Annie goes for the scary face there, lowering my speed one stage. One more hit and I should be able to kill this. Oh my god, don't you dare use a potion. Fuck. So, uh, the guy uses a potion and that's all cool. I'm going to get hurt in confusion. So, yep, I'm pretty much done with this mighty Eno. I'm going to switch out because it's annoying and Swagger's just being cheap. Okay, so I'm going to switch into my Swallow. I'm going to finish this thing in one blow. Bugger this. So, Swallow goes... Swallow. Mighty Eno goes for the Otis Sleuth. I'm going to just go for the Hyper Beam. Fuck this. I love Hyper Beam, it's so good. Okay, that'll definitely finish Mighty Inner off. Because um, of its uh, mediocre defenses. Okay, so Banana Pimp gets level 35. Cools. Right, so I beat him too, and 1280 experience points for winning. But actually, he was tricking you at the start. While you were toying with the boss, he was doing other things. KKK. Right. Let's head back to... Um, on this warp pad here that I did before. Icky nose. Ow. <laughs> Alright, so head out onto this. Actually, I'm going to go into these stairs and you'll go back to the start. So it's a pretty like, quick way uh, to do things. But basically, that's all I'm going to do for this episode because it was quite a lengthy episode. Team Aqua is always lengthy. There's always tons of shit to do, you know. Okay, so jump off here. Actually, by, instead of walking, I'm just going to fly back because I'm lazy. Anyway, so thank you for watching my walkthrough and make sure you watch. I did put up one before this today, so if you missed that or because YouTube's being annoying with the subscription box I noticed lately, just uh, make sure you keep up to date because I upload them fairly quickly every day. Just because basically I want to get it done and I want to get through the game. Uh, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon as well, so I don't need to do that uh, next episode. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Leave a comment, anything like that. And thumbs the video up would be great. And thank you for watching.